Here we go. But Lucky insisted that she has accomplished a lot. She's insisting. <laughs> Clinton Jaws, guys, I'm going to try to make this a quick video. There's a website out there called ClintonJaws.com. You should go to it. Brenda Lucky. She's resigning. She's no longer going to be the RCMP commissioner. She's leaving March 17th, 2023. How do I feel about this? What was my first reaction? Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. I was relieved. I was very relieved. And this is why. This is going to be strange to you. But I'm relieved because I don't, I get to not talk about her anymore. I don't want, I don't ever want to talk about her anymore. My channel wasn't about Brenda Lucky, the RCMP commissioner, but I couldn't help it. I had to talk about her. There was so much to talk about. I had to say things. It was kind of stressing me out. She was stressing me out. I was, I always felt like I was saying something wrong about her. And you know what? She's a girl. And I don't want to rip girls apart. That didn't come out right. I don't want to talk bad about a girl. And the things I have said about her. You know, I thought for sure she was going to be knocking at my door, taking my jersey away. But she probably doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel. So that was my first reaction. I'm going to tell you what my second reaction is after I read a bit of this article to you. And it, it doesn't this sound a little fishy though that she's leaving the RCMP union what the hell's his name Sove just came out this morning with an article praising her basically and now all of a sudden she's leaving she said she wasn't gonna leave she was staying and then all of a sudden this morning or this afternoon she put out a statement saying bye and this is what she says She's leaving. She's had, she's had, she has made a personal decision to leave the post. Personal decision. It was not an easy decision to make. She's so proud of everybody, okay? She was sworn in in 2018, so she's done this for about five years. They have made some great progress in meeting the expectations of Canadians and communities and police needs policing partners I'm not so certain about that I wonder what that is what the progress is and I'm not on here I'm just I'm on here just to inform my viewers what's going on okay I'm not on here to rip her apart I'm not trying to but she it, she just makes it so easy it's been a challenging year for the outgoing commissioner yes it has she ended 2022 facing calls for her resignation from multiple sources including the opposition conservatives and a provincial justice minister. And when I read that, I'm like, yeah, they were asking for her to leave. They were asking for her to be fired. And now I'm thinking, what now? Now what do you do? Well, you have to hire somebody else. Another liberal, right? With the same ideas and the same thoughts. And the first thing that the next commissioner is going to be asked is do you believe in systemic racism in the RCMP? And the only way to get that job is if you admit to that, to a fairy tale. Lucky's response to the federal government's decision to invoke the Emergency Act in response to convoy protests has come under attack and was cited by Alberta Justice Minister Tyler Shandro as a reason to fire her. She failed to inform the federal cabinet of all law enforcement options available prior to the decision to invoke the Emergencies Act, Chandro said. And I'm thinking, well, did you even ask her? Did you even ask her, Chandro? Obviously, the police didn't use all enforcement options available to them. Because if they did, there wouldn't have been an Emergencies Act. The police would have just came in and did what they ended up doing. They didn't need the Emergencies Act to break up a protest. Police have been to protests for hundreds of years, guys. And we've never needed the Emergencies Act. You never do. You never did. And now what? Now what, right? You got what you wanted. Now what? But Lucky insisted she has accomplished a lot. She's insisting, guys, that she has accomplished a lot in her term. Like coming up with 17 initiatives to battle systemic racism. 
Oh, what does she accomplish? What she's saying? Um, she's accomplished a lot with the senior executive team and the RCMP employees, huh? including modernizing the force and addressing internal challenges. She's accomplished a lot by modernizing the force. You made the force woke. Okay, yeah, sure. I guess that's modernization nowadays. But that's what she's done. And she's saying that's a, a great accomplishment. Another great accomplishment is addressing internal challenges, whatever that means. I'm so proud of the steps we've taken to modernize, to increase accountability, address systemic racism, ensure a safe and equitable workplace, and advance reconciliation, you guys know I can't talk, with indignous peoples, she said in the statement. And she's proud that she has taken steps to address systemic racism. And what is the next commissioner going to do? And here's my question. She's addressed systemic racism. She just said it. Is anybody going to ask her, Brenda, you addressed it. You worked on it for years. Does it still exist? Because if it still exists, then you failed as the RCMP commissioner. And that's why I can't stop talking about it. When she said that day that about the systemic racism, absolutely there's systemic racism in the RCMP. I was like, here we go. A made up word. You're working on a fairy tale. That's all she did was work on a fairy tale, something that doesn't even exist. And she has failed to even give an example of it to today. Never an example. So I want somebody to ask her, if you did such a great job and you're so proud, did you eliminate systemic racism? Of, co of course not, right? It's never going away ever. 50 years from now, 100 years from now, systemic racism will still be in Canadian policing. And she's accomplished a lot by addressing systemic racism. It really is unbelievable. And she's really happy with the advanced reconcilization with indigenous peoples. Huh? It's never been worse. What are you talking about? It has never been worse. I leave knowing I did my best and take comfort that the RCMP is well-placed to shine in its 150th year. Yeah, you know what? I don't... I believe that. I believe that she actually thinks that she did her best. She probably did do her best. And that's a weird day. It's a weird day. I'm not, ex am I excited? I'm not even really excited. Am I happy? No, I'm not really happy. Because who's going to take her place? Who's going to do the hiring? Right? We all know. I don't know, guys. I felt obligated to come down here. I know you guys already know about it, but I've been talking about her on my channel for I don't know how long now, forever, right? And I felt obligated to come down here and, and just read a short article. I need time to digest this, I think. And I come to Lucky. Bye-bye. What's that?